All right, this is wood flooring supply. We're gonna go over how to water pop prior to a stain. The reason we water pop is it helps um, get rid of scratches. Also, it lets um, more stain into the wood to give it a darker appearance and a more even wood tone. So to spray on water, which is the easiest way with a T-bar, this is how we would do it. So we would do a little bit of a section, like maybe five feet of a room like this, get it going. Get it all wet. And then what I would do is go over it at the same time with the second person and basically be getting it nice and even. You want to make sure every area gets wet. So you don't want any dry spots because it will look different. So I left a little dry spot right here. If you went over it with your little T-bar and it doesn't get all wet, you need to make sure to get it again. So. The T-bar is just there to make sure that you don't have any major puddles. So you just go over it one more time. We're gonna let the wood dry, so as long as you don't douse the wood with puddles, you're gonna be fine. So you'll see like back here, it's already drying, which is fine, as long as it's been wet one time. So, not too much water, look right there. We're going to let this sit overnight um, and then the next day we'll stain. So we typically we do this at the end of the day. So that's how you do it with a sprayer and a T-bar. It's the quickest way to go. Uh, you can also do it with rags and I will show you how to do that in the next video.